Today's lesson is about Yay! Mount St. Helens. It erupted in 1980 and spewed 500 tons of ash. It was basically like pressure building inside it, and then boom, it popped off. And I just didn't know that it dropped 500 tons of ash. You can't say I'm on this show. Well, that information would have been helpful yesterday. Like, seriously. This stuff tastes like flour, too. At least it's edible. So, the thing is, is that there was a lot of people that were, they got into trouble all the time. Did you know that they got into trouble with that? No. Yeah, the thing is, is that they were in trouble when they were trying to... What? The... When they were trying to... What? The... show either. Why can't you say try? I can't even see my contact lens is like way busted up. So anyway, with this, there was one more thing that with the volcano when it erupted, kind of like this when it erupted all over me, is that all the pyroclastic flow dropped, melted all the ice and all the water fell down into into the into Spirit Lake and it melted and caused a bunch of pyroclastic flow and lahars. So the water just came down and came down. <laughs> you can't say water either. Uh, why can't I say water? I can't. Well, guys, well, that... we're going to be doing an experiment. Yeah, when I'm all like this, sure, why not? <laughs> okay, this is what Mount St. Helens probably looked like when it erupted. And this is what the people looked like when they were covered in ash. Because they were stupid. Except they were burning and their lungs were on fire. 57 people unfortunately perished in the event. It was a bad event and ash dumped all over the surrounding cities. There was one man, gentleman, who stayed in to, to stay there. He was a brave man. His name was Harry Truman. And there's a monument dedicated to him in Mount St. Helens. That's all, folks. Thanks for watching and educational lunch.